Hey guys, welcome to this fourth video of Articulate Storylines Beginner Series. My name is Smita and in this video we will clarify concepts around scenes, slides and layers in Articulate Storyline. And like always, this video has a challenge too that we will discuss towards the end of the video. In the previous video, we learned about resizing the story size, aspect ratio and resolution. You may want to note though that the actual published course size will be slightly larger than the one you set while resizing the story size. This additional width and height allow for consideration of player skin and navigation. I would also recommend that you read the Storyline 360 Setting Your Slide Size article on the community page. I have provided the link to the article in the description box below. For my project, I know that I'm going to publish my file in the video format, so I don't really have to worry about the player skin and the navigation. So let's first change the project size to 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is a full HD resolution. To do that, under the Design tab, Story Size, let's select the custom option from the drop-down menu. Enter the value 1920 by 1080 pixels and select the Scale to Fit radio button. And as a final step, click OK to apply the Story Size changes to your project. Every time you create a new or open an existing project, this would be your default view. You are now looking at the project in a Story view which provides a comprehensive view of your entire project. Storyline uses hierarchical structure to organize your project. A project in Storyline can have one or multiple scenes. You can view and manage your scenes in Story View. It is important to note that a project will at least have one scene. I find the Story View extremely helpful when creating a complex branching scenario as this gives me a larger picture of my project flow. One common mistake that new as well as experienced developers do is that they put their entire project in a single scene. However, as a good practice, one must logically spread and divide the project across multiple scenes. I would typically consider creating a separate scene for each module or lesson within the course. A scene will further have one or multiple slides. You can view and manage slides in Slide View. Double click on any slide within the scene and you will now be in the slide view of that scene. Alternatively, you may also select the slide within the scene and while the slide is selected, go to View tab and click on the slide view. We are now looking at the scene in the slide view. Just like in the story view, on the right here, you see options to manage your slide. A slide can further have layers. Layer feature is extremely useful when you're creating an interactivity on the slide. For example, you can have the information on the layer hidden and it will be shown only when certain action is executed. We will explore slides and layers in detail later in this video series. To add a layer, simply click on the layer option here and this will add a layer to your slide. For now, it is important to remember that in Storyline a project has scenes, scenes have slides and slides have layers. Now that you understand the project structure, let's quickly understand how to add a new scene, rename the scenes and finally how to mark the scene as a starting scene. To add a scene, in Story View under Home tab, click on New Scene. This will add an untitled scene with a blank slide on the project. To rename the scene, simply double-click on the scene name and type your desired name. You will also notice that Storyline by default will add a sequential number to your scene. Another thing to observe is this red flag on the scene. This flag is to let the Storyline know that this is the starting scene, which means that this scene would be the starting scene of your project. You can also change the starting scene by selecting the desired scene and clicking on the Starting Scene option under the Home tab. To delete a scene, right-click on the scene and select Delete. While deleting the scene, please ensure that you select the scene and not the slide within the scene. Also, by deleting the scene, 
you will automatically delete all the slides within that scene. In this lesson, we learned the relationship between scenes, slides and layers. We further had a brief understanding of the story view and the slide view to view and manage our scenes and slides. And finally, we learned how to add, delete, rename and mark the scene as a starting scene of your project. Now it's time for the challenge. You would notice that we made this entire video in one language. Please let us know in the comment section below if you like the video in both Hindi and English or should we just stick to one language at a time and then translate the video in different languages. And if you like the content of this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Your support will motivate us to create more such educational videos. Bye for now. See you in the next video.